Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this very blessed Ramadan, let us take some inspiration from great people, from our, from the youth around Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and also it is a journey for us to understand how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam transformed the Sahaba. Among the Sahaba that were transformed was a young Sahabi called Rabi' ibn Ka'b al Qurayzi, رضي الله عنه. Rabi' was a young Sahabi. He did not have, he was not from a great family or a great tribe. He was having a lot of issues around him, but he was serving Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And every time he was around the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one night he said, maybe Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam might need something at night. So let me go and stay outside. If he needs something, I will do it for him. That is how much he loved the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Prophet ﷺ, when he was going out for salah, he saw outside this young man sleeping. He said, Rabia, what are you doing? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm here to serve you, to do whatever you need. So Rasulullah ﷺ also did for us to understand. Rasulullah ﷺ didn't want people to serve him. He was very humble, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In that narration, he used to repair his shoes. He saw his clothes, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Rabia, Ya Rabia, whatever you ask me, I will give you. Ask me anything. And this is what we should learn. When people do favor for us, we have to be very much understanding, appreciative, to be grateful to people. Whenever, when someone is doing you a favor, you have to appreciate it. You have to respect people. This is what we learn from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, Ya Rabia, whatever you want, I will, I will give you. So Rabia is saying, this is the chance. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is asking him, tell me what you want and I will give you. So he said, Ya Rasulullah, give me some time. <laughs> he wanted to make a list. <laughs> Maybe this is a young man. He wants to get married. He wants to have job. He wants to have family. He wants to have house. So a wise man, always you have to take your time. Don't give your answer immediately. So he said, Ya Rasulullah, give me some time. He wants to prepare a list. He went away. He came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa after some time. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Rabbi, have you made your mind? He said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. So tell me what you want. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I want to be in your company in Jannah. La ilaha illallah. Not only he wanted Jannah, he wanted to be with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, have you asked anyone? He said, no. Ya Rasulullah. So why? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I've thought about whatever you give me. Whatever you give me, it will, it will end up going. Subhanallah, imagine if you have a house, if you have a family. When he leaves this dunya, none of this is going to remain with him. This is wisdom. He said, but I thought the only thing I want is to be in your company in Jannah. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is his nature was mercy. So he did not limit that to Rabi'ah. He included everyone. So he said, Ya Rabi'ah. Help me if you want to achieve that by making a lot of sujood. So if we want to be in the company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannah, it is just making sujood and making sujood and making sujood. We are ummah of sujood. Sujood is a symbol of humility, of servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only we put our face, but our heart has to be in a state of sujood for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was encouraging everyone. When, when people were praising him, he was saying, Innama ana ab, I'm a slave of Allah. Call me slave of Allah and his messenger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our hearts. And, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with taqwa. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with humility. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.